All right, folks, so we're going to do a quick uh, feature overview of the Amazon Fire Phone, how to use it, going through some of the basic things of the phone. So cool thing is when you first turn it on, you're going to have this nice little carousel, um, very, very big, stand, you know, hit you right in the smack in the face. I mean, really cool, big icons, really explaining, you know, what app you're on. Uh, the thing about it is, is that on any screen, if you, this is like the main screen, if you swipe in from the right, you can kind of see apps, photos, videos, dot tub. It's kind of like your menu screen, so to speak. Um, kind of showing you the basic, you know, main things of the phone. And if you swipe in from the right, uh, it's kind of like your Google Now slash menu screen as well from like maybe when you right click on the app on, um, you know, in Windows or if on your Android, you hit the menu button or iPhone, maybe like a long press. Another thing, when you swipe up from the bottom, you'll also see all your apps installed on the phone. This will show you everything you got, very similar to any other Android device, um, where you can get the settings menu um, and all that good stuff. So that's definitely pretty cool. Another thing about the device, very, very gesture based. I mean, you swipe up from the bottom, it always takes you back a screen. Um, try it again. Well, actually, that is the home screen. Can't go back further. But also, it's like you can twist it to the right and then left. And then you see I got to this screen by which I could have gotten to by swiping to the left. So like the way you swipe this phone, um, as far as you do all these you know gestures, it's got a, a few other ones in there. If you twist it and do all kinds of things, it will do different things as well. But you can do all that stuff by just swiping on the screen from the right, left, up, down. You get the idea. So that's kind of the gist of how it works. I mean, it's very you know basic from that aspect. I mean, you you can see on the you know what apps you have installed in the cloud. Um, if you, you know, once you swipe up to get to the app, you can choose between cloud and device, which is nice. I do like that. It, it definitely shows you what's on it. And then if you don't have something on your device, um, when it's in the cloud, like if I want it on the device, if I just do a long press, actually, if I click on it, if you click on, I just clicked on Shazam and then it just actually just started downloading it, uh, right to the device. So I'll do another one. Let's say Skype. And then you'll just see it starts downloading it right to the device. So that's kind of cool. And then you'll you'll see it's notified by the check if the um, if the app is on the phone. So that's very very nice. I do like that. Um, kind of shows you what you have without you kind of going in some long menu list and scrolling up and down. So I, I do like that feature. Uh, of course, you have the home button. As you'll notice, you'll see the this these um these five cameras around here. And if I cut this off and then cut it back on. We'll get to this menu screen. So depending on how this thing is turned, actually this is a pretty dark one. Let's see if I can get the screen a little brighter. Um, depending on how it's turned, you will see uh, things move on the screen. It actually follows your head too, so it's definitely pretty cool. So like even like when I do like this, this is actually not a good one at all. Um, let me see. Yeah, it's not a good one, or maybe it could be caught on to this actual camera I'm using. So it's, it's pretty cool. You'd have to really see that for yourself to test it out. But that's basically how you use the device. I mean, it actually has a nice quick start video in here, which I think more phones should do as well. So if you click on that, um, actually, it's, yeah, fire quick start. It actually shows you how to use the phone, you know what I mean? So which is pretty cool. And just like some of the things I was just talking about, you want to get back to the previous screen, you just swipe up. So if I go into Instagram and I want to get back, I just swipe up. Twitter, I'm in Twitter and I can just swipe up, go back. So it's really cool, nice little features on the device. I mean, it, it definitely is different from any other phone I've used currently, which is definitely something to be said. I mean, it it's definitely has its own little niche out there. Um, so th thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the site tech-noms.com for more coverage on the Amazon Fire Phone. Take care.